everyone, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse in New South Wales, Australia. I wanted to jump on at the start of today's video to say a very special thank you to all of you who have subscribed, liked and commented, and also to say thank you to Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs for mentioning my channel in her wonderful latest video. I will link it in the description below so that you can go and check it out. Thank you so much for that, I really appreciate it. Now, today we are going to be creating a Christmas mailbox. I adore Christmas. I thought I would quickly show you the Christmas section in my shop. It is very, very festive and I just adore all things Christmas. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out my IOD Christmas playlist where I've used all of the new releases from IOD and hopefully it will give you some inspiration for this festive season. So if you haven't already, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and at the end of this video, if you could tell me what you think of the project in the comments and hit that like button, that would be awesome. Let's get started. Today we're going to be using IOD's Holly Lane Blitz and Jingle Moulds and we're also using the Victoria Mould with Jovi Air Dry Clay. You can find a full product list in the description of this video and all your crafting needs on our website theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au So I found this awesome mailbox at one of the big box stores. It was at the end of February so all of the Valentine's Day stuff was on sale so I grabbed it. Now it's very slick so after cleaning it well with Dixie Belle's White Lightning and rinsing my cleaner off I did a coat of Dixie Belle's Slick Stick. This is a bonding primer which is going to make sure that my paint adheres. You don't always have to do this step but I thought that this was probably going to get quite a bit of use so I was just having that as a bit of insurance. When I apply Slick Stick, I like to add it in a dabbing or sort of stippling motion or use a roller. I find that this also helps the paint adhere and it gives an eggshell finish. Next, I'm applying a coat of Dixie Belle's Sawmill Gravy. This isn't probably going to be my final color, but I thought it would make a very good base coat. Next, I am using IOD's Victoria Mold and I am using Jovi Air Dry Clay to spell out the phrase North Pole Express Post. I thought that was a very cute little thing to have on this mailbox and I find that if I use cornstarch, it really helps my letters to come out. Now, I know I could probably put it in the freezer like a lot of people have suggested, but I just don't have time to sit and wait for that. Next, I have added clay to the jingle mold. I am just adding the sweet little deer there and then I'm grabbing some holly from the holly lane mold and adding it there as well. I'm then using a really strong wood glue to adhere my letters and also my reindeer and my holly. I decided I wanted to add some more holly so I am working clay into that holly swag in the holly lane mold and I'm going to position that down the bottom and up the side of the mailbox. So I'm going to very carefully bend and manipulate it into place in the corner and then I'm using that same glue to glue it in place. I'm also casting a few other elements from the Holly Lane mold to go underneath the letters express post. I'm also going to add the word mail to the front part of the mailbox. I'm also going to cast the forward facing deer from the jingle mold and also two of the sweet little bells there and of course the bow. I'm just having a play and working out how I want it all to be set out and I decided that I also wanted to add some of the holly lane mold to go around the deer. Once I have the positioning worked out, I'm going to add that same strong wood glue to secure it all in place. It was a pretty hot day while I was doing this, so I did have a little bit of breakage, but I didn't have any issues gluing it all back down and getting it back into position. 
The final touch I decided would be to add some of the sweet little snowflakes from the Blitz mold. So I'm going to cast five of those and glue them into place. I was going to stop there, but I decided to also cast one more of the Holly Lane swag to go on the other side of the mailbox, just in case this was going to be used as a centerpiece or something where you would be able to see the other side of the mailbox. I just thought it could look a little bit odd if I didn't have some sort of embellishment on the other side too. The next day, I am coming in with Dixie Belle's Fluff Chalk Mineral Paint. I decided that I wanted something brighter than the Sawmill Gravy, something that would contrast nicely with the bright Christmas colors that we're going to use. So I'm going to do two coats of fluff over the entire piece. Again, I am using a stippling motion to apply my paint. This is for a few reasons. Number one, stippling helps you get into all the details of the molds, but it also provides even coverage of your paint instead of changing directions according to what molds you're using. I'm also using a small artist brush to paint the other side of the little flag. I'm next using Dixie Belle's Kudzu Chalk Mineral Paint to paint the leaves of my holly molds. I'm using a small artist brush for this and I'm applying the paint and then carefully wiping back some of the paint to give it a little bit of tonal contrast. This has been one of my favorite greens to use this festive season. I'm then using Dixie Belle's Barn Red Chalk Mineral Paint and a small artist brush to paint the holly berries. I'm repeating the same color combination on the front of the mailbox and on the other side as well. I'm also adding barn red to the little bow up the top. I'm also using Dixie Belle's Chocolate Chalk Mineral Paint and using a small artist brush to paint the Leaping Deer. I'll also do the same color on the forward facing deer on the front. I decided that I wanted the letters to stand out, so I'm using Barn Red again and a small artist brush to paint the tops of the letters. And I love how the paint really brings out the details of the Victoria mold. And I think that this just is a really beautiful touch for this mailbox. Next, I'm using Dixie Belle's Gold Gilding Wax on the antlers of the deer, on the letters, and hints of it on the snowflakes and the bells. I'm just adding touches of it everywhere. And I'm also going to be going around the edges of the mailbox a little bit heavier. On the sections where I want the gold to be more noticeable, I am using a small artist brush to apply the gilding wax.
Dixie Belle's Gilding Wax is oil-based, so it is the last step that you want to do, and it does cure on its own, so you don't need to seal it. You just want to give it about three to five days. Finally, I decided that I needed to paint that little flag in the same barn red. And here's our finished mailbox. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments. And if you like it, please hit that like button. If you're not already, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our festive projects or furniture makeovers. And make sure that you check out our IOD Christmas playlist. We have a lot more ideas for crafts for Christmas and you can find all of the products used on today's video on our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Thanks for watching.